very good day to you john 3 16 and but shall have eternal life our heading the deliverance i understand that word to mean that whosoever believe in the lord jesus christ shall not perish though he is ready to perish he sins would cause him to perish but he shall never perish at first he has a little hope in christ have a look at romans 12 3 but its existence is feeble it will soon die out will it not no his faith shall not perish for this promise covers it whosoever believe in him shall not perish so firstly this proves the final perseverance of the saints for if the believer ceased to be a believer, he would perish and as he cannot perish it is clear that he will continue to believe if you believe in jesus you shall never cease of believing in him for that would be to perish if you believe in him you shall never delight in your old sins for that would be to perish if you believe in him you shall never lose spiritual life how can you lose that which is everlasting if you were to lose it it would prove that it was not everlasting and you would perish and thus you would make this word to be of no effect for whosoever with his heart believes in christ is a saved man once for all amen and secondly what is it then to perish it is to lose all hope in christ all trust in god all light in life all peace in death all joy all bliss all union with god this shall never happen to you if you believe in christ if you believe you shall be chastened when you do wrong for every child of god comes under discipline and what son is there whom the father chastens not application he that has union with christ has union with perfection have a listen he that have union with christ has union with perfection omnipotence and glory he that believes is a member of christ will christ lose his members how should christ be perfected if he lose even his little finger are christ members to be wrought off or to be cut off impossible i pray thank you lord jesus that when you got to the shed you realized there's one sheep missing you went back after leaving the 99 in the shed and fetched the hundred thank you in jesus name amen